Hello everyone, welcome to The Sewing Swan. Happy New Year to all of you and Merry Christmas to all of us who celebrated Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I wish you had a great time with family, friends and you had a chance to craft more if you do not have regularly. I came back with this project. This is on the go crocheting or knitting bag. You can crochet or knit while standing or walking. The thing that we all miss, if we crochet or knit, we just sit the whole time. So this gives us a chance to walk and move our legs a little while working and enjoying the project. Um, I will even help you to uh, create uh, this shape without using a template. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do now so you do not miss any of the future tutorials and hit the bell icon below the, uh, the video so you get notified every time I upload a video. That is for smaller projects and you can adjust the size by using a longer piece. So, crocheting or knitting in the go has never been easier. Let's get into the tutorial. Two pieces of fabric measuring 11 by 33 inches each. In case you don't have enough fabric from the desired print, which happened with me with the lining fabric, I just sewed them together the pieces and measured them after they are sewn to the desired length. One for the outer and one for the lining. You will also need some pins, a marking tool, I'm just using my pencil, and of course scissors, sewing machine, and a matching thread. You need also a ruler. Get the outer fabric on fold. Now we will take measures to this piece on the folded side with your ruler take a three inch mark inward from both sides three inch mark from the right three inch mark from the left or as you see it here is the mark one here and one here I want you to take one inch line from this mark inside. Just measure one inch inside and draw a line of one inch long. Do the same here. Now, measure seven inches downward from both sides. And draw another line of one inch inwards inside the same we did here. So here is the one inch and here is the line. Here is the one inch mark on the ruler and here is the line. So on the fold you get two marks of three inch each of three inches inside and from the sides you got two marks from the seven inch inside and from each of the four sides you took only inside one inch line length. From the end of the one inch line to the end of the one inch line on both marks of each side. So you start from the one inch line from the three inches and you go downwards all the way to the seven inches mark. This way. 
here is the curve it shows clearly on camera you will do the same to the other side or you can just get it on fold exactly from the middle use some pins and then you cut the curve all through the four layers if you don't want to cut through the four layers go ahead and do the same to the other side and draw the same curve so you can cut each side separately is the piece I just cut through the four sides by folding here is how it looks. The thin part is inside which will be the handle and you will do just exactly the same to the other lining piece here. I put marks on the other piece on fold and now I'm folding it again or you can trace. You can simply trace your outer piece and cut. Now both pieces are cut and now we will sew all the way around avoiding the curves we will just stop half an inch from the end and we go on with half an inch seam allowance to create two separate bags so we start this way and all the way to here leaving half an inch and both sides. Pin if you need to and put a half an inch mark at where you should stop sewing on both sides back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your sewing. Now we now we corners of the two bags lining and outer fabric boxed if you if you want to know how to do this in details I will leave a link in the description below to our video on how to box the bottom of a bag now both bags are boxed please check our tutorial of how to do this in details now start from the half inch unsewn space that we left and put mark here before and fold your fabric with the right side inside the bag fold towards the wrong side of the fabric with half an inch all the way all around the curve on both sides for both bags starting from the half inch mark fold and press all the way to the end on both sides and because it is a curve it might get a little bit tricky folding it so you just do your best and go on do the same to the other piece fold and press all the way around you can start with the half an inch left space and so on as a guide and don't worry if the fold gets a little bit thinner because this is the very nature of the curve now flip the outer bag out for the right side to be facing out and insert the lining bag with the wrong sides facing you and the right sides inside all what you need to know now sorry all what you need to do is to match the handles match the handle of the outer bag with the handle of the inner bag on fold mm -hmm. 
like this and then you pin all the way around in order to sew them together Start by matching the seams of the inner and the outer bag, the side seams, and just pin all the way around until you get it all done. Those very little wrinkles will just disappear as you remove the pin pins while sewing. Use one eighth of an inch seam allowance in this just like top stitch it so you need to use matching threads or um, I'm gonna using one for the outer and one for the inner meaning that one that matches the lining which is the bobbin thread and one that matches the outer which is the main thread just suit yourself the way you like it And here is one side done. I'm showing you before moving to the other. Here is the outer. And here is the inner. And it's perfect. If you don't feel comfortable with one eighth of an inch seam allowance, use one fourth of an inch seam allowance. You will get the same result, but it, you will be more relaxed and comfortable using it. It just looked more um, neat to me. And there you go, and there you go, all finished. And here is the inside or the other look of the bag. So you can enjoy both.